Where we're going to with development, I really don't know. I think we're just killing ourselves. Now, I spoke to somebody the other day. I said, why does everybody want a plastic bag? Do they know where it ends up? It doesn't only end up on the dirt heaps. An animal, a cow comes past. He doesn't know any better. He chews everything that's in his way that's chewable. He'll chew it. And that plastic eventually lands up within him and it lands up in the milk. And who drinks the milk? Who eats the flesh of the cow? We do. If you look at the quality of the vegetables that we're growing now, they're not as good quality as it used to be because it's degradation of the soil. All these plastic and mucks and chemicals that we're putting into the soil, it gets picked up by the water. And where does it go into? Into the plants. So <laughs> how do you get the balances about that? So, yeah. In nature, there isn't such a thing as waste because the cycles continue and every waste product is merely a resource in the cycle for another step in the process. Uh, it's only with our kind, the kind of processes we develop that have a beginning, a middle and, and an end. And there's a disjuncture. It, we've, we've, we're breaking down the natural system and, and, and the the processes which continue to renew things. Most processes, and this is what uh, the crux of it is, we've created industrial processes that are linear, you know, that start off with digging stuff out of the ground, that end off with uh, disposal of whatever products we have used or haven't even used in a landfill. Okay, currently we have, uh, they predict that we have uh, lifespan of 15 years, which I think is not possible. Every year the waste increase. So especially now with the World Cup around, I don't think it will make 15 years. We are not informed at the end of the day on the things that we're doing because if you see maybe the people who are working for a municipality around and then they're not getting paid, what they do, they'll take the rubbish out of our own houses and then they'll throw it around our own communities and then they'll start torturing and then go to town afterwards. And then I ask myself, they're going to come back at the end of the day and that litter has already done its damage on our planet. And they don't know that they're doing anything wrong to the planet. They think that they're just showing their grievances to the government. They're just so angry towards the government that they're not delivering. They're angry at Jacob Zuma all the time. They always say, Jacob Zuma, we voted for him. Baski, the, 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 our councillor, we voted for him. And then to show him that we're very mad at him, let's throw rubbish around, let's bend tires. And they're forgetting about their future. As far, well, I'm too scared to see how my children gonna suffer. That's why I must look after them now while I can, to give them the education. I don't want them to come sell flowers. I put everything in for them to go learn further. Well, I think it's incredibly important to protect our environment for our children, because if we carry on like we're going now, we're not gonna have one. I mean, everywhere you look, there's just more buildings and more things being built, and no one seems to really care about the green places. The plastic that we find loading up in our beaches, now that doesn't all end up in our beaches, it's eaten by turtles. Uh, turtles mistake plastic bags for jellyfish, which is the main part of their diet. Uh, I find many dead, dead birds on the beach with plastic in their gut. So plastic pollution is a huge problem. There's a thing called the Pacific Gyre, G-Y-R-E, and it's a slightly subsurface island of plastic floating in the Pacific that's larger than the state of Texas. And it's growing every year, because that's where the ocean currents all come around and they come together and they sit there for a bit. 
and there's these mountainous volumes of plastic. And there was a study done some years ago, and something like 2,000 pieces of plastic float in every square kilometer of ocean on average. And that's excluding all the plastics that have sunk. Because whenever a bottle fills up with water, it pretty much sinks, mostly. So they are heavily polluted, mostly with plastics. Uh, we found uh, supermarket bags from South African supermarkets in Australia. So, you know, uh, there's no barrier between us and them. There's no uh, a way to send the waste to. 